Now, I also want to say that a microcycle is defined as the amount of time that it takes to have an overload event that disrupts homeostasis, enough time for you to recover, and then manifest or display that strength. So you have the overload event, recovery from the event, and the ability to display that new adaptation. That is what constitutes a microcycle. So for the novice, the microcycle is, you know, 24 to 72 hours. For an intermediate, the microcycle is maybe 7 to 10 days. And for the advanced athlete, Microcycle could be anywhere from one month to three months, and maybe even beyond that. That means that the microcycle for these different groups changes. And in fact, it becomes better to talk about multiple microcycles packed up against each other when you get into the month and three month long training programs. That's something that's called a mesocycle, where in each microcycle for an advanced athlete, you may focus just on hypertrophy, or you may just focus on. Uh, I don't know, increasing one of the three lifts, not everything all at once. But the intermediate and the novice doesn't have to worry about that. Their microcycle is short, therefore their training does not have to be very complex. So they can stay on the microcycle level, whereas advanced athletes need to start thinking about the mesocycle, which is many microcycles put up against each other in a logical way to again create this overload, recovery, and supercompensation on a much longer and drawn out scale. So, hope that helps you understand what a microcycle is and how it changes. There's no one microcycle, there's no one best way to set up your training. Uh, it's going to change as you develop as an athlete. And again, that's why cookie cutter programs that work for one person may not work for another. Even if your numbers are similar to somebody who is, say, using the Texas method. If you're still getting gains that are novice gains, you might stay on a program like starting strength and not jump up to something that's more advanced that has a weekly microcycle like the Texas method because you don't need to. And in fact, hypothetically, a novice could have much higher numbers than an intermediate because they're able to add weight every single workout rather than every single week. Now that's highly unlikely, but again, it's a different way of thinking about levels of strength versus levels of adaptability, primarily defined by how long is your micro cycle. How long does it take you to have an overload event, recover from that event, and then have a super compensation that allows you to display strength that you've never had before. That's the way to think about how advanced you are as a lifter. And in this sense, you don't want to be advanced because it's much harder to get on those gains if you're advanced. Hope that helps explain things a little bit more. And thanks for watching the series. Blessings.